Hey everybody, and welcome to another Why the Line. Today, I'm actually going to read an excerpt from a Twitter post or an X post from Nathan Bao. And I really love this post. It goes into some of the things that initially inspired me to start making videos here on YouTube. So I'm going to read the post and I'm going to interject here and there. So you'll just have to kind of um, try and listen to when I'm quoting directly versus giving my thoughts. In 2016, researchers at the University of Adelaide, which is in Australia, tested Kurt Vonnegut's theory that, quote, there's no reason why the simple shapes of stories can't be fed into computers. So for those of you who don't know Kurt Vonnegut, he's an amazing author, um, Breakfast of Champions, great read, highly recommend. And he sort of gave this speech where he would talk about the shapes of stories. Going back to Nathan, they took the emotional arcs of 1,300 novels from Project Gutenberg and turned that into data. They used modern tech to analyze the emotional arcs and then identified six patterns seen over and over again in Western storytelling. So here they are. One, rags to riches, which is the rise. This is your classic underdog tale. A humble, hardworking peasant climbs the mountain to pull the sword from the stone. Examples of this are Rocky or King Arthur or The Pursuit of Happiness. Next, we have Riches to Rags, which is the fall. Maybe the saddest story of them all. It's a journey from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. Examples include King Lear, Citizen Kane, Scarlet Letter. Third, Man in a Hole, Fall and then Rise. So a character is doing fine, gets themselves into a huge problem, but then figures out how to overcome it. They often end up better than when they started. Kurt Vonnegut says, you see this story again and again. People love it, and it is not copyrighted. Examples include The Martian, The Hunger Games, Shawshank Redemption. Four, Icarus, Rise Then Fall. The hero goes on a meteoric rise up New York or some other society, calls everyone old sport and throws the wildest parties in town, and then reality sets in and he realizes he's too close to the sun. Examples include Macbeth, Great Gatsby, Death of a Salesman. I'm sure there's plenty of others. Five, Cinderella. Rise, then fall, then rise. I'll leave the description to Vonnegut. We're going to start way down here. Worse than that, who is so low? It's a little girl. The shoe fits, and she achieves off-scale happiness. Examples include Red Rising, Slumdog Millionaire, The Count of Monte Cristo. Next, we have Oedipus. Fall, then rise, and then fall. Up until the 70% mark of the story, it looks like things are sunshine and rainbows. Walter White goes from high school teacher to king of the drug lords, if you will. Then all goes wrong. The original fall is often not their doing, while the final fall is. Again, Breaking Bad is an example. Others include Hamlet, Gone Girl, etc. Three takeaways, and again, this comes from Nathan Bow. One, Rags to Riches, Oedipus, and Cinderella all rank as the most popular with consumers, a.k.a. those books sold the most copies. Two, when you think through a story... Give it an emotional shape. Literally draw the shape out. X-axis is time. Y-axis is ill fortune to good fortune. You might be surprised how much it helps you craft your plot. Third, Vonnegut was a genius. And this is true. Let me know what you think. I personally love the idea of thinking through stories and their shapes and the ups and downs that they go through and really drawing that out. Thank you very much. And as always, like and subscribe.